Welcome to Live from Lockdown. It is Sunday and we are live here in New York City. Welcome to everyone who's tuning in. We're live on YouTube and Facebook today. I think, you know, knock on wood that we don't have any technical problems. Please say hi when you tune in. Got my fan out today. It's actually super nice weather here in New York. It's very springy. Hey everybody. Hi, um, I'm Champion, this is Stephen Fulton, and uh, this is actually episode eight. This is amazing. We have been doing these shows for eight weeks, which I think is totally crazy. Hi Sue, hi Hide, Brian, Susan, Nick, Chihiro. I can see you guys on Facebook. If you're on YouTube, um, please comment and say hi. I can see your comments on YouTube and I can see your comments on Facebook, and we are live. Got my fan. Um, <laughs> so it's really been a good week. We've been listening to a lot of good music. Hi, Brian. Hi, Toze from Portugal. That's cool. Mark's in Indianapolis. Hey, Jen. Hi. I was always about to read your whole name. Jan and Matushin. Hi, Jan. Hi, everybody. Hi, Dave. Good to see you guys. So we're really happy to be here with you again today, week eight. Hi, Magda in Barcelona. We have Kathy tuning in from Levittown, Pennsylvania. Pete Garla in Australia. Good morning. Good eye. Good eye. I was watching, um, I, know, I know a lot of uh, Australian jazz musicians, and Nikki Parat has a new like cooking show on her YouTube channel, and it is so funny, and she is so cute. Hi, Richard. Hi, Paul. Hey everybody, Richard. Oh, there's two, lots of Richards. <laughs> Hi Mary. Scott's in Wisconsin. Ralph's in Ohio. Hi Mike and Janie. Avi is watching uh, on the YouTube app on the big screen TV and monitoring comments on mm. Facebook. Hi Gallant in Rio de Janeiro. We have Sandra, Fairhaven, New Jersey. Keith Craven. Hey everybody. Yeah, so share the video. Um, hi Joseph in Barcelona. I'm doing well. Uh, we're all we're all healthy, which is which is good. Um, and it's been a good and busy week, like doing lots of live streams. I performed live of this variety show. Um, hi Martin on YouTube. Um, part of this variety show hosted by Prohibition's Prohibition Productions, which was really fun. Um, I've been doing a lot more stuff like that. It's totally. I think this technology is amazing. We've been doing a lot of. Um, live streams and just the way people are putting things together and I have some really cool videos coming out this week for you guys too. Bruce and Julie in the UK. Hi Melissa. Hi Rodney in Alabama. Keith in North Carolina. We have Thomas in Toledo. I like that Thomas in Toledo. That's cool. Melissa in Jersey? Yeah. Say hi. <laughs> so also I don't know if you've noticed um, we're in a different venue today. No it's not a different venue. I'm at home I'm shooting at a different angle. Hi, Bump City on YouTube, and Adam and Chris. Oh, happy anniversary. I think we have quite a few anniversaries tuning in today. I have two working MV88 microphones today. This is completely amazing. Uh, we went to B&H, which is an audio superstore here in New York, twice last week. We had to drive over there twice um, because I had a Shure MV88 that totally turned out to be a lemon. Um, but now we have a new one. They're both working, so we should have good sound on both channels. Hi, Vincent, Terry, Mary in Ames, Iowa. Hide, thank you. He says, nice dress. Hi, Richard. Um, so this dress, actually, it's crazy. I just pulled this out of the closet today. Um, let me know if you recognize it. We should have done a giveaway if you recognize yeah. the dress. <laughs> um, I've had this dress for a long time, and it's maybe it's on the cover of something you might have seen. Um, hi, Dennis in Sausalito. Um, so I was saying we're shooting from the other side of the piano. I'm coming to you from the other side of the piano today, uh, just for a little bit of a change. And some people thought it was brighter and it looked better on their screens. So let me know if you like it. And we're going to get to play some music for you guys now. And we made a lot of putting some different things um, and some of our favorite things. So we hope you enjoy it. Mark, Mark is celebrating his ex-wife's birthday, don't ask. Okay, I won't ask. Ah. Hi, Stefano in Miami. Hi, John. Hey, JR. So um, please share the video, invite your friends, and let's play some music. The weather is frightening. 
mean the thunder and lightning seem to be having their way but as far as i'm concerned it's a lovely day the turn in the weather will keep us together and so i can honestly say that as far as i'm concerned it's a lovely day and everything's all
in the snow. I can see where you and I would be cozy and warm. Let the rain fit it better, but really, there's nothing if the sky is long as I can be with you. It is really a bright background, I know, because that's a window, um, and it's, of course, here in New York City, it's it's 5 p.m., 5.15, uh, which is daylight, basically now, because we're into spring, so um, that's why it's so bright back there. Hi, Gavin. Hi, Barbara. Yes, I saw several people recognize this dress. This is the dress. Is it embarrassing to admit that? <laughs> this is the dress on the cover of my album, The Breeze and I, which came out... 10 years ago. So I've had this dress for a while. Um, throwback Sunday. Yeah, Throwback Sunday. I don't know. I just felt like wearing it. Um, I never, I don't get rid of a lot of my clothes, right? I have a huge closet. I have a huge closet. Too many. Um, but this dress is also very special to me. I wore this on my first concert in Europe. I have to tell you this little story because Fufu just signed on. Um, we were in, uh, we were playing in Ascona, Switzerland. It's a beautiful festival. And the very first day we arrived, uh, we had had a horrible travel day, and we had to go play outside, and it was at dusk. I think we played at 8 o'clock or so, and the sun was setting, and it's right on this beautiful lake uh, between Switzerland and Italy. Fuku was with you. Yeah, Fuku was with me, and he's watching. Um, and I don't know if he remembers, but there were all these bugs. They were gnats, like tiny little, uh, not mosquitoes, but... Gnats. Yeah, gnats. And... I mean, millions of them, and they were they were really drawn to my my dress. And Fuku and I used to match back then. He had a yellow shirt, and they were really drawn to his yellow shirt. And at one point, I turned around in the concert, and his yellow shirt was black because it was covered in those bugs, and they were all over the keys. And I was playing and squashing them. So that's a nice story. <laughs> Are there still some in that dress? Maybe there we had to have this dress dry cleaned like four or five times. I think my dry cleaner was like, what happened? Um, but anyway, that's kind of an odd story. Hi, Mats and Tony, Dawn. Um, oh, thanks. Yeah, I wore a blue dress yesterday on the concert for the Prohibition Productions. Uh, so we're going to keep playing some music, but I want you guys to feel free to ask me some questions. I know we don't always call this a Q&A, but we're all here together, and you can ask me if um, something, if you have anything you want to ask about music or whatever. And I was wanting to play something um, fast. Okay. What do you feel like playing fast? Oh. Sure. This is a tune written by Louis Bonfil. You guys have heard us do this before. Um, and it's going to sort of feature the horn and feature the voice. And it's a fast samba. You can imagine the drum beat in your mind. And uh, yes, I'm hoping to come back to the UK for sure. It's on one of the records. It is on one of the records. I think this is on our record, Sings and Swing, which is a um, record with Fuku and Hide. It's on Sharp Nine, came out in 2012. Feels like yesterday. This is Samba de Orhu. Your turn. Yeah. <laughs> 
me i don't scat a lot you guys know you hardly ever see hear me scat um that's scatting yes it is um and it's not worked out ahead of time it's scatting it's harder than scatting because you're doing two things at once three things <laughs> yeah three things one two three four can i count my feet it's Patting your foot, yes. <laughs> no but um we don't it's not worked out ahead of time though no you don't right. know what's gonna happen improvising we're improvising i'm improvising he's improvising thank you jeff lawrence this is called Samba de Orfeu, and it's on um, my record, Sings and Swings. It's blue. Um, Eric Alexander is also on that record on a couple cuts. Not on that one. That's a quartet feature. Um, also, some of you guys are asking me this week about wearing shoes because you can't see my shoes, but I'm wearing shoes today. I put high heels on. Um, what do you think about that? Well, they match the dress. They match the dress. Yeah. It's a great outfit. You guys can't see the whole thing. Um, let's play something... I wanted to play... How about um, the perfume? Oh, I have on perfume today, too, which I don't normally... I haven't been wearing because we're just in lockdown. We're not going anywhere. Um, Thank goodness for those of us here. Yes. On YouTube, they're ta they're talking about Louis Bonfa. And yes, he also wrote uh, Man Mania de Carnival. Oh, I hit the wrong button. Um, from the same movie, From right? the same movie. That's right. Hi, Gloria. Hi, Craig. Thank you, guys. Okay, so let's continue with um, a little bit of... I, I played this in a video yesterday, but I want to play it again. And I really like... This, uh, there's a great Snooky Young. A lot of you guys said you had heard Chet Baker do this, but the Snooky Young version is really uh, the great version. Nights grow cold since you went away. I think about you all through the day. My buddy, my buddy, nobody quite so true. your voice, the touch of your hand, I long to know that you understand.
This is Stephen Fulton, uh, and we're live every Sunday here on Facebook and YouTube at 5 p.m. My mother is doing well. She works at New York Presbyterian Hospital, and she's she's healthy. She's still going to work. Um, and that was a little tune called My Buddy. I know I thought that that's how a lot of us feel, I think, right now, not getting to see our friends. is how I feel about not getting to see you guys. Um, but it's nice to have this here today. Um, and we're going to talk a little bit about next week. We are going to, oh, wonderful. Thank you to everyone who's coming on from the Oscar Peterson page. Thank you, Celine, for sharing. Um, we're actually going to talk uh, next. That's, that's what we're going to do. Yeah, Stephen wants to do um, a little bit of a theme next week, and we're going to be honoring the Oscar Peterson record with Clark Terry, uh, which is called Duo. Duo. And then we're also going to be doing some tunes from Oscar Peterson's Duo record with Ella, which is one of my favorites. So we're going to be doing those songs. Um, and maybe we should play something right now. Let's play. Let's play "Mean to Me." Let's play "Mean to Me," but play it. Um. Okay. You love that song. Is that on the record? Is that on one of those? In my things? mind, it's in. It, okay. In my mind, it's on that record. All right. Good. <laughs> um. In the key of F for people at home with the bingo cards. She's out of tune. <laughs>
Thank you so much. They're saying you sound really great. Who? Everybody. Oh, The great, whole world. Great, great. We have a lot of people on here. Thanks so much for tuning in. And if you're new to the channel or if you haven't done this before, we're here every Sunday at 5 p.m. on Facebook and YouTube. Um, and this is our eighth show. I have done this eight weeks in a row. Go before ahead. we get off of that, next week when we do the Oscar Peterson, Clark Terry Extravaganza. Show, I have a special story about that record that I'm going to tell <laughs> that Clark relayed know. to me. I know that story. Yeah. Um, yeah. So uh, we... We, ha we knew Clark really well. Steven knew Clark better than I. Actually, Clark's right over my shoulder if you're on YouTube. That's a Clark Terry poster right there, uh, which we have quite a few. We have quite a few of those things in the house. Yes, I have a mystery clapper. We have an audience member. That's my mom. She just doesn't want to be on the camera. She's right over there. Um, hi, everybody. Peyton, Stuart, Pedro, Salame, Sergio. Thank you, guys. Portugal, wow, that's great. This is such an international show. And thank you guys so much for your enthusiasm and for being here with us every week. Um, eight weeks, we've been in quarantine, I think 10 or 11 weeks. So we've been doing it most of the time during the lockdown. Uh, and I really appreciate everyone who tunes in every week and everyone who supports every week. A lot of you have asked if there's ways to tip or contribute or donate, and there are. It is not expected, but it is accepted. What do you like? Very you like good, that? I love that. And very much appreciated. So um, if you'd like to contribute via PayPal or Venmo, those links are in the text box on both videos. And I really appreciate all the love and support I've gotten from you guys. Um, we're going to play a tune right now. This is, um, we have quite a few wedding anniversaries on here today, but I know that my friends Mike and Janie, who are in Tennessee, are celebrating their wedding anniversary today. I want to say... I don't, want, I don't want to say how long, because now I'm not quite sure, and I don't want to get it wrong and say too long or say too little. But happy anniversary, <laughs> Mike and Janie. And uh, we're going to play the song they requested. Um, before we do that, Pete wants to know if you scat, Stephen, like Clark. Yes, but I'm not going to. <laughs> I've actually really not heard you do that that often. You remember in, when you used to go to summer camp, I used to. Yeah, but I, it's not a thing you do regularly. No. Because I don't, I don't have enough money to pay for it. Is that it? That's correct. He's too expensive. I don't know. That's not true. I see trees of green. Red roses too. I see them bloom.
happy anniversary, Mike and Janie, and everyone else who's celebrating a wedding anniversary today. I used to hear, um, I know a lot of you guys are saying you love that song and you've sung it. I would always hear Lou Donaldson sing that song uh, when he would play at the Vanguard. He liked to do a little Louis Armstrong tribute and talk about the greatest jazz musician who ever lived. I talked to Lou this week. If you guys are fans, um, he's doing really well, and he's down in Florida, and Lou is going to be a 94. 94? He'll be 94 in November, so he's doing really good, and, and we talked a lot, and um, just want to let you guys know. Some happy news. I, I stay in touch with a lot of jazz musicians, and... Um, trying to keep everybody sort of uh, feeling feeling together and feeling a little bit like a community, which is what we have here today. Thank you, guys. Uh, so let's continue with some, like, some Louis Armstrong. I mean, let's do a little Louis Armstrong show. We're going to, why not? Oh, yeah, what do we know? Why not, Steven? Just in case you know, we, we did talk about tunes before the gig. Um, Steven and I talked about some songs. But that never matters. It does matter, <laughs> but sometimes I just like to, um, sometimes I just like to play things that aren't on the list. If people are asking for look for the silver lining, and I'm definitely going to play that. I'm going to play that at the end, so stick around. No, I was thinking, give me a kiss to build a dream on, and my imagination will thrive upon that kiss. Sweetheart, I ask for only this, a kiss to build a dream on. Give me one kiss before you leave me, and my imagination will feed my hungry heart. Give me one kiss before we part, a kiss to build a dream on. When I'm alone with my fancies, I'll be with you. We may grow romantic, making believe that they're true. Give me one kiss before my imagination will feed my hungry heart. Give me one kiss before we part, a kiss to build a dream on. I'll be with you. 
Louis Armstrong theme here. Um, that tempo, I've been listening to a lot of stride piano lately. I don't know if you guys um, listen to very much Fats Waller, but there is this, some amazing like remastered Fats Waller on Spotify, and I really like listening to him. I'm practicing a lot of stride, and I think I've always loved stride piano, and I love block chords, and um, you've always wanted me to work on my left hand. Left hand. This hand. Um, but now that we're in lockdown and I don't get to play with any bass players. Because in the old days, a piano player that didn't have a good left hand yeah. couldn't get paid. Right. That's true. Why? Because that's where the rhythm is. Right. Um, so I've been, work I've been working on that a lot. And Oh, hi, Bill and Marion. I see you guys. I, was just, I, I know you're on there. I didn't see you before. Hi. Hi, Michael. Hi, Pedro. Um... So we've been working on Fats Waller a lot. Up tempos, slow tempos. Oh, this is a good question. What does stride piano mean? Mm -hmm. uh, stride piano is a, it's a style of piano that was super popular in the 20s, 30s. Um, Fats Waller was a stride piano player. I, you could say Art Tatum was a stride piano player. Count Basie started as a stride piano player. And basically what it means is this is the left hand. This is the bottom of the piano, the bass and you stride like this. That's like a really basic demonstration of what stride piano means. Oscar Peterson too. Oscar Peterson was really good. He could play super fast. Um, just to, just in case, since you guys are asking, I'll just say that it's super hard, actually. <laughs> it's really hard. Uh, a lot of these men that we're talking about had much bigger hands than me. Um, which I think has a lot to do with it. At least I'm going I'm that, to... That's what I tell myself at night when I go to sleep. And that's I, your excuse? I, I was listening to Art Tatum last night, actually. I listen to Art Tatum every day. And have you heard his... There's a new remastered version of The Shout. Mm -mm. It's insane. Anyway, uh, sometimes they're like, you know, super fast. Um, Shouts. No, I can't. That was it. That's as good as I can show you. Uh, but we're going to continue with the Louis Armstrong theme and the Fats Waller theme and the Stride Piano theme on my beautiful Yamaha piano that is going to get tuned as soon as we can um, and play a little Dinah. Dinah. What do you think about that? Mm -hmm. Right on? Or...
super hard uh, and if you listen to Fats Waller I think it's not super hard for him at all but he, he enjoys it and he laughs a lot and um, I might say that Fats Waller is my favorite piano player who sings a lot of people always ask me if it's Blossom Deary I do love Blossom Deary but you really can't beat Fats Waller ever so maybe we should do another one Nat King Cole's pretty good no Nat King Cole is great I shouldn't say that but but I like that Fats is so funny he's so funny he makes me laugh and that's what I like. Um, are we still on the... Uh, let's do some... Are we, we're between the Fats Waller and the Louis Armstrong theme. Um, let's continue with another Louis Armstrong. This is actually the title track of my latest CD, which I, I'm not sure everyone can see. This is the latest CD. It's called Dream a Little. Ooh, where is it? There we go. Um, with Corey Weeds, my friend Corey. It's a dual record. A uh, really exciting thing about that record is it is nominated by the Jazz Journalists Association for Album Art Work of the Year. Sure they are. Uh, our friend Takao, who is a great illustrator, designed this. Can you see it? That's that's me. Oh, that's me. And that's Corey. Or, there. <laughs> you have the ponytail. I have the ponytail. Uh, and it's a live concert, and it's um, it's a really nice record. And I'm really proud that it's nominated for that award. And the record is called Dream a Little. And I'd like to play Dream a Little Dream of Me for you guys, which I might. I shouldn't need the words for this, but I might. Let's see. Stars shining bright above you. Night's breezes seem to whisper. Birds singing in the sycamore trees Dream a little dream of me Say nighty night and kiss me Just hold me tight and tell me you will miss me While I'm alone and blue as can be Dream a little dream Thank you. 
That was uh, Dream a Little Dream of Me and the record um, from my latest record, Dream a Little. Uh, I have a new record coming out this summer, which is coming up very soon. I think um, it'll be available on social media uh, for all my VIP friends in August. Um, and it's called Birdsong. Um, it's really, it's my 13th record, number 13, and features the music of Charlie Parker. And... Um, I'm really excited for that to come out. So I have a lot of records. If you if you are new to the account, you don't know me that well. My name's Champion Fulton. I sing and play piano. And this is Steven. Um, and you can follow me here on Facebook, and I will post a lot of things. And on YouTube, I have a lot of videos. All of my records are available on Spotify, iTunes, Apple Music, Google Play, everywhere. Um, hi, Kendall in Oklahoma. I'm really hoping we're going to have a baseball season, or football Kendall, season. Kendall's back on. Yeah. You, you uh, done the new record. Yeah. It's um, featuring Scott Hamilton. Yes, featuring my good friend Scott Hamilton on the tenor saxophone. A lot of people think this is an unusual um, thing to attribute Charlie Parker with Scott on tenor, um, but it's pretty great. It's great, right? It's really great, actually. And the cover design, um, the cover by my friend Ian is really gorgeous. Okay, Sue, it's good to see you. I'll see you again soon. We're going to stay on. We're still playing for, another, uh, for a little bit longer. Hi from Vienna. Hi, hi, Luke. Um, thank you so much for tuning in. We're live here every Sunday, and if you'd like to um, tip or donate or contribute to keep these live streams going, you can via PayPal or Venmo. Um, both places I'm at Champion Fulton, and the links are in the text box. Um, let's continue with the tune. I sort of feel like I'm really thinking about Fats Waller. Um, yes, it is the, I forgot to mention, Bird Song is for the Centennial, for Bird Centennial, that's right, which is this August, which makes a good time to put out the record. It's all bird tunes plus b tunes associated with bird. Um, let's just do one more of these. <laughs> Don't even go to the movie show if you're not by my side. I stay home by my radio and I'm satisfied. All my flirting days are gone. On the level from now on. Mostly because I can't we can't leave the house. That's correct. Don't go for any excitement now. Because we're in lockdown. Books are my best company. That's true. All my opinions have changed some. Old fashioned as can be When you really learn to care There's the thrill in solitaire Keeping out of mischief Really am in love and how I'm through playing with fire It's just you my desire You're the only one for me, I told you in advance. They can't break up our romance, living up to every event.
are the only one for me. I love them in advance. They can break up our romance, living up to every vow, keeping out of mischief. It's very it's very COVID nineteen appropriate. Hi Dominique, hey everybody. We're gonna do. Um, I don't know. Is there anything you really wanted to do, Stephen, before we said goodbye? I thought you were gonna do Angel Eyes. Should we try it? Oh wow. Okay, we're gonna try Angel Eyes. Um, I shouldn't say try. I mean, we're going to play Angel Eyes. I used Special to, request. I used to sing this all the time in Oklahoma, um, where we played at Maker's Mark, well Maker's Cigar Lounge. I know Jr. used to come see us at Maker's, and this week. He was spring cleaning, and he texted me a photo of a maker's matchbook. <laughs> Isn't that funny? Um, it was a cigar lounge in Bricktown in Oklahoma City. I'm from Oklahoma, and um, I sing the song all the time. I haven't done it in a long while, in a long while, and I have been watching a lot of things on Netflix. And I was watching one of my favorite shows, which is The Crown. Um, I know some of you are going to say that it's like maybe it's not historically accurate, um, but it's a really good show. You've seen it. About Queen Elizabeth? I watched Downton Abbey. <laughs> yes, Stephen likes Downton Abbey. Um, but I've been watching The Crown, and there was a great episode last night where the Ella Fitzgerald recording uh, of this song came on, and I thought I wanted to do it again. So, yeah, Kendall remembers Makers. You guys remember it. And Clinton, and Drew. Um, 20 years ago. Yeah. Oh, was it 20 years ago? We started at Makers in 2000? You were 15. You're not supposed to tell them my age. Ah! Yeah, it was 20 years ago. Anyway, this is... Try to think That love's not around Still it's uncomfortably My old heart Ain't gaining no
started But I've got to run The faction commonly clear I got to find Who's now number one And why my angel Excuse me while I disappear the angel Thank you guys so much for being here. For being here every week, you guys are the best. I really miss seeing you. Um, a couple people wrote to me this week and asked me to put my live streaming schedule on my website, which I'm going to do. Um, and I know some states are loosening up on the lockdown. We're not here in New York loosening up, but uh, we're gonna keep doing these shows even, even when the lockdown and the quarantine is over. So we'll be here on Sundays um, to be with you because you guys are so great. And thank you so much to everyone who tunes in every week and to everyone who supports me with PayPal and Venmo. Um, I know a lot of you guys do it every week, and I really appreciate it. Um, the links are in the text box. If you're new to the stream, share with your friends. Click that box that says notify me when Champion goes live, and you will know. And um, we're going to do one more tune, and we're going to be back next week. Stephen, tell us one more time about the theme. Oscar Peterson mm -hmm. with Clark Terry. And, and Ella Fitzgerald. Yes. So we're going to be doing tunes like... From the duo records. Mean to Me. Uh, we're going to do Mac the Knife. Chops. Slow Boat to China. Slow Boat to China. When Your Lover Has Gone. How about uh, that one I really like that I don't ever remember very well? That one? That one. No. Uh, more Than You Know. Oh, Maybe More Than she, You Know. She does a great version of More Than You Know. So we're going to be doing that. Um... And I'm really happy. I talked about this on Instagram. Oh, yeah, Satin Dolls on that record. You're it right. It is. Um, Great version. I, I wasn't sure. This is my one of my favorite jewelry designers, Corey Moranis. She's a Canadian-based Lucite jewelry designer. And I have a few of her pieces. Um, and I haven't worn them to play the piano yet. But there was no problem. Didn't bang on it's the very piano. difficult to uh, play piano sometimes in jewelry. I can't really wear rings too often, and I was a, I was worried because I didn't want to crack this lucite bracelet, but it worked, so I'm very happy about that. That's just a story about my bracelet. Yes, it is. Did you like that? Look for the silver lining Whenever clouds appear in the blue Remember somewhere the sun is shining So the right thing Joy and gladness will always banish sadness and strife. So always look for the silver lining. Try to find the sunny side of life. Look for the silver lining.
hi to everybody. Hi, Richard, Sandy, Donald, Richard, Mora. Thank you guys so much for being here with us. And we will see you next week for our special program show. And um, have a beautiful week. Stay safe, stay healthy, enjoy the spring weather if you have it where you are. And be sure to uh, wash your hands. Happy anniversary one more time, Mike and Jeannie. And thank you guys so much for helping me out with these microphones and the lights and sticking with me for eight weeks. You're the best. I'll see you later. Bye.